Hi everyone, my name is YK and I'm a photographer based in Singapore. Come along with me as I shoot along the streets to showcase the new features of the EOS R5 Mark II. Let's go! Every day I try to create poetry in the daily, whether to pick out small little moments that we missed out or find new angles in commonly photographed places. So for this shot, I already did the pre-registered person priority on the model that we're shooting and also going to showcase how great the deep learning tracking autofocus is on our R5 Mark II. Great, got it. So I just took this shot and I'm actually very impressed at how great the focus is. As you know, with a longer lens, it's actually very sensitive when you move, but the box still stays focused and sticks on to the person that's registered. So now we are also going to see how deep learning can help in avoiding obstacles. So what I'm going to do now is actually have our model walk past the center, come down the stairs after the pillar, and it showcases how good the obstacle avoidance is and it will lock focus and still capture everything sharply. The focus tracks and locks in her and I was getting that shot right when she comes out. It's really sharp and you can see it for yourself. So actually I was trying out the registered people priority in another setting but something interesting happened. So what it actually does is when I half press the shutter, it pre-captures 15 frames which otherwise I would have missed. So that's a really cool feature and there's more like the eye control which I'm going to test out in the next shot. So for this shot, I'm using the eye control. I'm going to place Belle at the top and Alpha right in front of me. And as Belle walks down, I will toggle the focus with my eyes in the viewfinder and it should lock focus really quickly. So the eye control is really useful because in the past, I used to tap focus on the screen. But now with everything done in the viewfinder, I can toggle with my eyes. It's instinctive, intuitive, and also way faster. So something really cool is that there is this new blur detection function for faces. There is an icon on the camera showing you whether the face is blur or not. And for me, it's super useful because it speeds up the process of choosing something sharp. So now I'm at another spot where you can see the entire skyline. I'm actually going to take a wide shot with the 45 megapixel CMOS sensor and after that use in-cam upscaling to see what we can get out of a single frame. So for this shot, I'm going to have the cyclist go past a tight alleyway where I feature the 30 FPS in the R5 Mark II. And since she's on a bicycle, I'm also going to try out the vehicle priority tracking. So now it's actually getting a little dark, which is good because I want to test out the ISO capabilities of the R5 Mark II. But for now, let's test the rolling shutter distortion I'm going to have the cyclist behind me to cycle down the road. The rolling shutter distortion is greatly reduced. Nothing is too slanted, the lines are still pretty straight. And for our next and final shot, we are going to feature the new neural network noise reduction on the R5 Mark II. So I actually found a nice neon sign. It's a little dark, but it's okay. I will have two models, one sitting down facing the red sign and the other one standing so the color reflects on their faces and I will adjust the ISO bit by bit until it gets a little grainy for me and that's when the neural network noise reduction kicks in. And now it's a little bit too grainy for me, that's when the neural network noise reduction comes in handy. For me, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II is way more intuitive to my workflow, allowing me to work more efficiently and worry less, letting the machine enhance my creativity, bringing more art in the daily life. I'm YK and this is the EOS R5 Mark II.